Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk a very important subject in the ballroom dancing. Choreography. So choreography is very important. Choreography for the dancer is like uh, the text song for the singer. The singer without the text song cannot sing the song. And also is the dancer without the choreography cannot perform the dancing. So therefore it's very important how to select it. Of course, it's also important, first of all, to know uh, how to stand in position that you already analyzed in the previous video lecture, and also how the general principles are very important. So always we have to base our dancing in the principle and how to stand together, for sure. But then it's very important how to select the correct step that compose your choreography. So first of all, we have to analyze which kind of dance we are going to perform. For sure, if we talk about swing dance, as for example, waltz, I should have a choreography that is show the real characteristic of this dance. Of course, I will not select many, many running step. Otherwise, it look like a quick step or I not select a lot of steps that give me a lot of impact, otherwise it looks like a tango. So therefore I should select a uh, kind of step that compose my choreography, that is look and give a very strong character to this dance. But before it we have to understand how the music is composed. For sure if we talk about walls, usually in one minute of waltz, we will find uh, about uh, from 30 to 28 bars per minute. So therefore, if uh, I thinking to dance approximately two minutes in competition, I will understand that I have to dance 60 bar or maybe 56, depend how is the speed of the music. But let's imagine that the music is very slow, so I should dance uh, 56 bar in two minutes. If it's this 56 bar, I will divide as a block. I will take every block of eight bars. Every eight bar is composed one block of our choreography, which is, I will say, is one chapter, if you read the book. So all this chapter has to be connecting in a very uh, logical way. So every time that is finished the bar number eight and start the bar number one, for sure, we need to show some very good impact and uh, impulse into the next part of the chapter, into the next block. And so on, if we think about uh, that our wall speed is 28 bars per minute, for example, we dance 56 bar in two minutes, which means it are uh, seven block of uh, choreography composed by eight bars of music. So in a classical version, of composed choreography, we had always a constant uh, uh, figure that turning to one side for, for example, eight or maybe six bar. And then we have uh, uh, some other figure that turn, for example, to the left side for eight or six bar. So this is more, was almost the classical version of the choreography. But then after, in the next video that is followed, we are going to see that we can make it an, a dynamic interpretation of the choreography. When we change the rotation from right to left and from left to right, more often than eight or six bar. Choreography is like a t-shirt. Maybe you like a yellow t-shirt, but when you wear, you don't like. So you have to, this choreography is something that you have to wear and you have to watch into the mirror and you should like onto your body. So, therefore, it's very important that you personalize your choreography.